As it is written in Isaiah the prophet, Look, I am sending my messenger ahead of you who will prepare your way. Welcome to Branch Together. My name is Jared, and today we are finishing 2 Corinthians. Before we dive in, let's take a moment and pray. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for life. Thank you for friendships. Thank you for relationships. We thank you for these letters that were written to the church in Corinth and that we might learn from. We thank you for your servant, Paul, who did such amazing, powerful work in the the beginning of this Christian movement 2,000 years ago. Help us understand better so that we might uh, better follow you and understand you today. It's in your name we pray. Amen. 2 Corinthians chapter 13. This is the third time I am coming to you. Every matter must be established by the testimony of two or three witnesses. I gave a warning when I was present the second time, and now I give a warning while I am absent to those who sinned before and to all the rest. If I come again, I will not be lenient, since you seek proof of Christ speaking in me. He is not weak in dealing with you, but powerful among you. For he was crucified in weakness, but he lives by the power of God. For we also are weak in him, but in dealing with you, we will live with him by God's power. Test yourselves to see if you are in the faith. Examine yourselves, or do you yourselves not recognize that Christ, Jesus Christ is in you, unless you fail the test? And I hope you will recognize that we ourselves do not fail the test. But we pray to God that you do nothing wrong, Not that we may appear to pass the test, but that you may do what is right, even though we may appear to fail. For we can't do anything against the truth, but only for the truth. We rejoice when we are weak and you are strong. We also pray that you become fully mature. This is why I am writing these things while absent, so that when I am there, I may not have to deal harshly with you, in keeping with the authority the Lord gave me for building up and not for tearing down. Finally, brothers and sisters, rejoice, become mature, be encouraged, be of the same mind, be at peace, and the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the saints send you greetings. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. So that is the Corinthian Correspondence. Boy, there's a lot going on, uh, a lot to remember. One of Paul's parting words to this church uh, was verse five, examine yourself to see if you are living in the faith. We will really get into that actually in our next book, James, uh, coming up tomorrow. But for now, think about that. Think about that today. Are you living in the faith of the Jesus movement, the, the Jesus people? Uh, Is Jesus someone who is real to you that you follow? Uh, Yes, no, maybe. Uh, Why or why not? Consider that today. Consider what uh, you might need to change after hearing these two letters. Take a moment today to think back on the last two weeks. uh, What verse or verses hit you? Um, As always, let us know your thoughts, your questions, your comments. Uh, This was an exciting two letters. We want to hear what you have to say. We want to hear what you remember. We want to hear what comes to your mind. That's all for today. Join us tomorrow as we launch into the book of James. Bye.